period when the grapes start to ripen and depending on the weather in August, um, we, it will mean uh, either a great vintage or not. Now, if August is not great, September can save the crop, but, but we, we will not be, be the possibility of having a great vintage. The worst thing will probably be a very wet month. Sometimes, it is the tangential detail that reveals the larger picture. In the Bordeaux region during the month of August, ice cream sales fell by 73%. Rainfall was 39% above average, while both the hours of sunshine and the temperature were well below what is required for a great vintage. How would you describe August? So, you know, it wasn't too nice. August wasn't too nice. I mean, it's not, you know, a, a real good summer. We hope that September will be good. If it's nice, not like today, of course, uh, we, could, we could have, a, you know, you know better, better wine. We are now in, in one of the most critical periods of the year when the, when the weather will, will define the quality of the vintage. Either great, very good, good. And we'll have more beautiful journeys. D'ailleurs, c'est ce qu'il faudrait là maintenant. Il faut des belles journées pour que pour que ça mûrisse mieux. The kind of weather we have precisely now is obviously not a priori what I would I would have expected. Mais après, si ça continue à à trop pleuvoir, même qu'il soit pas mûr, il va pourrir. C'est ni. Sometimes it rains and you tend to think, oh, this is bad luck, but actually it proves necessary, and sometimes not. <laughs> Despite the weather, life must go on and Chateau Margaux is expecting a visitor. It's an honor. Not a lot of people can have this honor to come here. I don't, I don't always know who is coming, but uh, for example, for lunch, I think it's a um, Japanese or Chinese guy coming, I don't know. It must be very, you know, important. So you have um, to start a salad of uh, lobster. Okay. After you have some uh, pigeon, roast pigeon. And to start, yeah, they have a, a pavillon blanc of Chateau Margaux, 2006. With the pigeon, they're going to drink the Chateau Margaux, 1989. And with the cheese, then we have the Chateau Margaux, 1959. This of quite old, of course, but uh, yes, it's very good wine. I can, can tell you because I taste it all the time <laughs> before serving it. Entertaining is Margot's most beguiling weapon. Because the wine is sold via middlemen, there is never any danger that visitors will be prevailed upon to get out their checkbook after a good lunch. Thank you. Very, very good. Instead, the best things in life can be appreciated untainted by commercial concerns. What I checked now, uh, the chairs, of course, also, must be, the, you know, at the right place. All the book is very important. Madame Menzelopoulos always liked the book, you know. Well done. Today, it is the turn of Mr. and Mrs. Tong to enter Margot's warm embrace. Mr. Tong is a toy manufacturer from Hong Kong who has accumulated 6,000 bottles since he started drinking wine in 2003. He represents a market, Asia, that is being assiduously cultivated by the first growth chateaus. 
it's always interesting to taste these great vintages when young, yeah. just to dream, dream of what they will become no. 20, 20 30, years, 30, 40 years 40, later, yeah. even more. As a wine collector, I, I, I need patience. I, I know that I need patience. We can send a man to the moon. We can build yeah. a space lab in the, in, yes. in the sky, but we cannot speed up the aging process. No, no. Paul's objective is simple, to impress upon Mr. Tong the Margot wow factor. The Tongs are tasting the legendary 05. Oh, okay. The 05 always amazed me. This is completeless. It has everything in place. Mm. It just takes time to put the puzzle all together. It's very complete. It will be interesting to see when the secondary flavour develops. Yes. Maybe after 10, 15 years, then... I guess more. I guess more. Well, how about uh, 2008? I think we are going to harvest it end of September. Yes, so, we, so, we still have more or less one month before yeah. the harvest truly starts. So, honestly, it all depends on the weather we yes, will have now. So it's... if you can control the weather, what would you like well, to happen? Um, well, I know we cannot control that. If I, if I, if I could do really? it, I would really now ask for, for sunny and dry weather. Now, if it rains all the time, we may be in trouble. But if we have, if we have now nice weather, yeah. It may help. It may help. Mm. I, I, hard to say. Hard to say. Margot, often called the Versailles of the Medoc, is the most visited chateau in Bordeaux. And if you write long enough in advance, you might even get a guided tour. The first time. First time to Bordeaux. And are you. Uh, uh, Amateurs, winemakers? Amateurs. 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 Okay. According to our wives, we're uh, something else as well when it comes oh, to Oh, really? Wine, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. With its neoclassical facade and cathedral like cellars, tourists become pilgrims hoping that the mystery of wine may reveal itself. So, average time and oak? Um, well, uh, for the Chateau Mango, approximately 20 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. But only the privileged few are pleasured in the bosom of the chateau itself. Three hours later, the tongs emerge, sated. The point for us is to is to to build up the image of Margot. As, as one of the best wines of the world, any, everywhere in the world. Um, Asia is, uh, is, is a new market, so obviously we make special efforts to, to be connected 